This is The West Country Tonight with Ian Axton and Laura Sullivan. Hello. The funeral of the legendary D-Day Piper, who bravely played as the first wave of Allied troops landed, took place in Exeter today. Bill Millen was 88 when he died and had lived in a nursing home in Dawlish since suffering a major stroke seven years ago. Cordelia Lynch reports. In death as in life, it is the sound of the pipes that surround Bill Millen. The man who became a hero when he played his in the face of enemy fire, honoured here in Exeter, remembered the world over. It is the passing of a legend, a man who bravely flew the flag of his country. Now his fellow servicemen and women hold theirs in memory of him. Immortalised in the film The Longest Day, he defiantly played his pipes at Sword Beach, asked by his commanding officer, Lord Lovett, to boost morale. His giant efforts remembered by his son at the service. And Lovett said to his men, in a hundred years' time, your children's children will look back and say they must have been giants in those days. My dad, Jacob and Jessica's granddad, is our giant. But the giant was always humble about his heroism. My memory of D-Day was a landing itself, leaping off the landing craft behind Lovett, because Lovett being a much taller man than I, and I, the water came just above his knees. Of course, when I leapt in, I possibly fell into a hole that came up above my waist and a terrible struggle of keeping upright. And it's curious, several years ago, I met the German officer commanding that area during, during the landings, and I asked him, well, the, and an interviewer asked him, why didn't they shoot the piper when he was up front all the time? And the German said, don't go mad. And uh, I was very pleased that they thought I was mad because everyone else seemed to be getting shot and wounded. And uh, being a bagpiper probably saved me. But he not only saved himself, he inspired others. Well, I'm mentally proud of my dad. Dad wanted a, a quiet, no fuss, no frills funeral, and that was never going to be for dad. Wherever dad was, there was always a great crowd and people were thronged around him. And he, he knew the pipes would turn out today, and it, it made me very proud today to see them. And alongside those close to home were others from the shores he helped to liberate. A great, great hero and a very, very humble man already ready to have a joke or to smile. And... and even when he suffered a stroke at his nursing home in Dawlish, his spirit was strong. He was confined to an electric wheelchair, except for Bill, I think he just thought it was a Maserati because, because every day, it didn't matter if it rained, it snowed, whatever, he'd bomb out of the nursing home going, bye, and he was off. The courageous Piper has fallen silent. His story, though, will no doubt echo for centuries to come. Cordelia Lynch in Exeter for the West Country tonight. Tributes to the D-Day Piper, Bill Millen. And finally, a group of Pipers played a stirring melody at the funeral of Bill Millen today, just as he had so famously played on D-Day 66 years before. The soldier who earned a place in history for piping his comrades into battle on Sword Beach was given a final salute in Exeter by old comrades, family and friends. Lewis Vaughan Jones reports. The coffin of Bill Millen is led by a lone piper. More than 60 years ago, Bill was the piper, leading men onto the beaches of Normandy. With his back to the camera, he faced the enemy with just his bagpipes. There's a terrible struggle of keeping up right, with the bagpipes like this over my head. Uh, finally, I got them going and played Highland Laddie till I reached uh, the sand. Then up and down the sand, playing the road to the Isles. He played surrounded by bullets and bodies. After the war, he asked the German commander why they didn't shoot him. 
And the German said, Domkov, mad. And uh, I was very pleased that they thought I was mad because everyone else seemed to be getting shot and wounded. And uh, being a bagpiper probably saved me. His story then became a film called The Longest Day. No, sir. Black bear, sir. He's at it again. At 88, he still wore tartan and still remembered what he did at 21. Wherever Dad was, there was always a great crowd and people were thronged around him. And he knew the pipes would turn out today. The pipers at today's service were from Normandy. They told me what Bill Millen meant to them. That's my hero. I don't want to be Spider-Man or Batman, but I want to be Bill Millen. <laughs> Lewis Vaughan-Jones, ITV News, Exeter. And that is it for now.